Good morning. I feel like going somewhere nice. Boom. I mean the rest aloud. Yeah. 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 Stole in Dar es Salaam due to the hands. Man, this better. It's evil, like crazy. It comes a lot of food, and I'm not even done yet. So it's hot as hell, so I'm gonna save that for later. I'm about to check into the museum. That's the next place. See you in a few. Sperm wheel. Do you jama? Hey. Hey. Ah. 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 Kichwako ilikuwa his size 2.3 million years ago Tools of destruction or creation This is what you use back in the day 2.3 million years ago this is what they were using If you think about it we've come from such a long way ago 2.3 million years ago You've seen the size of the head? That head is like the size of my fist if not smaller Even the tools of trade is literally like rocks Sharpened rocks, that's what you used to cut. They even guys were just like ripping meat off a carcass and just eating it straight from there. Literally this, I mean, I'm at the start of life. Tanzania is actually the first sighting of humanity, I guess. The first man, supposedly, came from Tanzania. So this is a very historical moment. 400,000 years, this is how the head looked like. 120,000 years ago. We're getting bigger. Jewelry, who would have thought? 60,000 years ago, someone was gonna be using jewelry. <laughs> you wouldn't think they care so much about accessories and stuff like that. And then here we are, literally, in the 21st century where we have piercings and everything and all that. But it stemmed from so long ago. If you don't think about it, you actually think that it's something that is recent, but it's not. The oldest weightlifting belt. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> what do you see in this image? Fighting cats? Where in Africa is the image Libya? When was the art done? 12,000 years ago. Come, ask your elephant. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. Hey, do you want to find your cars here? 
na mtu anageuza mianzi nishote kiswahili mianzi 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 moja mianzi mingi mianzi unajua kiswahili yetu na yetu ya Kenya yetu yetu ni sanifu sana acha nafikiri mtume nipo humo lakini mimi haujaiona yani wabwahi wa billahi ni askari wa humo lakini sijui baba kama huyo mpinga ya kiamungu namsikia mwanaongea ni mbovu kweli Lemon tree. Yeah, take the leaves. See the nose is good. Hmm. Good. It smells. Hey, you need to come, son. Come on, come on, boys. Man, I'm so much as a kuni. Ah, good. You can take it and test it. I can test it, yeah. Ati ni tuaji birimbi. Birimbi. Ah. Yelo, pale juu kabisa. Pale juu. Naiva kupanda. Napa zizi vunja iki na diomi ni mzito. Mbona kunja uzo? Unauma tu? Iko na maji? Iko na maji? Eh, safi. Yu unekula tu yote? Eh, sasa hapu ngepata ule njano kwa jisa. Hmm. Eh. Hapu, ngeguwa mbili wazi. Haina uguwa. Hmm. Ok. Wanauma wanapenda flowers. Eh, 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 wanauma wanapenda flowers. One house represents more than one point five. Uh -huh. And the one traditional house, the collective community, that is Waswahili. So we say Waswahili is not a tribe. It's a combination of collective community people from coastal area. And uh, traditionally, suffer beauty to house. The big house belongs to mommy with the children. And uh, when the children grown up to 13 years old, they no longer stay with their parents. Only the boys, they just make their own house out of their parents. So they share food together with the parents. After getting married, then they depend themselves. But my daddy makes his own house out of mommy and the family. So if mommy wants to meet with daddy, she prepare food here, she take to daddy's house. She needs to get the permission from senior one. The senior say no, she stay there back. And the man stay in this place for resting yeah. and for socialization with the friend. Yeah. But the women were not supposed to pass in this way. So senior wife, she's the boss. She's the one who convinced her husband to pay daddy for the junior wife. But the responsibility of senior wife is to take care of children. And the responsibility of junior wife is to take care of her husband. Okay. Hey. So how many wives do you have? Uh, me. <laughs> I'm a man of many wives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bed for the mom, bed for the kids. Toilet. Maisha ni magumu. We don't have modern machines than gunning stone. So if people want to make flour for Steve Paul Joe Gar, especially women, then they bend here, then they make flour like this. This work was special for women. Men does not support this work. If the man do, the community believe that the woman changed the mind of man. Okay. In Swahili, I'm in uh, Bewitched. Yeah. <laughs> they make soft cloth. This cloth was special for boys and the girls virgin. During the session of ceremony or after marriage period. Before 13 years old, they stay in Akdi. No clothes. Mm -hmm. But during the query for matrimonial and patrilineal system, they marry more than one wife. Two wives, one husband in one house. And they show one man, but they live free. This side is for daughters, junior wife, on a soft cloth for junior wife. And daughters for senior wife on top storage food for senior wife. These rooms are for junior wife room and the senior wife room. They follow matrimony and the patrimony system. Okay. So two wives, one husband in one house. Very nice. Now since you had one wife at where's it keep? That's some spooky shit. <laughs>
What's up guys and I'm back in my room what an amazing day that was such a great time really enjoyed the dancing really enjoyed just like the whole sightseeing and checking out what Dar es Salaam has to offer tomorrow I'm supposed to be going to there's two islands I'm supposed to be going to there's Mbundia Island and there's Mbo <laughs> Bongoyo, Mbogoyo, yeah, Mbogoyo Island. So those are the two islands I'm supposed to be visiting tomorrow. Tomorrow is what? Sa uh, Saturday, yes. And then Sunday we'll just like you know drive all around Zan, uh, not Zanzibar. I'm still thinking about Zanzibar. We'll drive all around Dar es Salaam and just check out all different places, just amazing places around here. So we're gonna go to the fish market. We're gonna go to all the way to the ferry and all that. So that's for Sunday. But tomorrow we're going to. To island right now I'm back into the room I'm about to eat I've just gotten some food so the guy was showing me around he told me this food is for guys who are breaking their fast right so it's just jam-packed with a whole bunch of different types of foods there's hogo there's I thought it was pasta but it's not pasta it's something which is like made from from flour similar to pasta but it's not pasta I don't know but yeah there's some chicken in there there's just a whole bunch of mixture of food so this is what they usually eat when they're breaking their fast and right now you know it's Ramadan so there's a lot of people who are fasting so I was like yeah let me just sample it and he was like I, you sure you don't want chips and things like that and I'm like nah man I didn't come all the way out here to eat chips hope you enjoyed today I really did I'll see you guys in the morning bang good morning What's up guys? I'm at the island right now, just chilling, relaxing. I've been to the beach, really, really enjoyable. But it's hot as hell, <laughs> so I had to come to this shaded area. It's freaking hot. I'm enjoying myself though, so this is what uh, peace and tranquility feels like. Literally just enjoying the sights, taking in, you know, every single moment, just enjoying. Like what I said in my previous vlog, I think it was like two or three, two vlogs ago. Which one was it? It was the free the mind. I definitely feel like I'm freeing my mind right now. I'm just relaxing. There's no rush. There's no urgency. It's just me and my thoughts and just relaxing and just getting more aware aware of um, myself self-awareness about to have lunch early lunch i guess because lunch is supposed to be at one but i think i'll have it at like 11:30 because i did eat uh, quite early so that we can leave early i eat around like seven i had breakfast around seven or something like 7 30 around that like, this is what i'm doing today just relaxing at the beach chilling and then after that make my way back go to the supermarket buy some snacks head on to the hotel and just like you know wind down tomorrow i'm supposed to i need to go for a pcr test another thing which i've noticed is i've i've been forced to speak swahili in a lot of situations <laughs> because people don't believe i'm kenyan people think i'm american or nigerian or whatever so i have to like Ah, me in Kenya, me, me in Dubai, no, I'm to East Africa, Then they're like, yeah, 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 show us your passport. I'm just like, okay. So even speaking Swahili doesn't really help. But uh, yeah, it's been great fun. Anyway, let me enjoy this. I'm gonna have lobster for lunch. 
fancy, huh? That's 30,000 Tanzanian Kenyan shillings for that lobster. 30,000? Jesus Christ. How much is 30,000 though? 30,000 is like 2,500 or something? Huh? I think so. Around that. Divide by 20. You math geniuses, do that calculation. Yes, 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 yes. Try and bring the up. Sa, Santi Sana. What's up guys? So I'm back in the house, check out the spot. I've just come from the supermarket and I've seen something which I wish we had in Kenya. First of all, they're selling protein, almost protein everything in the store. So I found this grenade bar at the store and then the one thing would just like hit me like holy schnizzle is this snicker bar. This is the first time I've seen a protein packed snicker bar. That's insane. It's crazy. I've never seen that before but I wish we had this in Kenya. Anyway, really enjoyed myself again today but I'm just gonna chill right now. There's not much to do. Relax, watch a movie, sleep tomorrow. Just walk around town and do things. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to get my PCR test tomorrow so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I have some bands as well so I'm gonna maybe do a home workout uh, indoors because the hotel that I'm staying at doesn't have a gym so that sucks. See you tomorrow. If there's anything else, oh yeah, I bought some dinner. The same thing I had for lunch yesterday is what I bought for dinner because it was just amazing so I had to do it again. What's up guys, we're at Cape Town Fish Mart. My new Rio invited me over. Uh -huh. We have our South African lady on the arm. Lady on the arm. <laughs> and my guy right here, man, Mr. Media Personality. Yeah, media group. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're having a great time out here. About to have some sushi, a whole fish platter, just enjoying ourselves. There's a hot spot that he was talking about that we're supposed to go to. What's it called? Kidimbu. Kidimbu. That's like the Mawimbi of Dar es Salaam, I guess. And you guys know Mawimbi, and that's the hot spot. So this is. You have a, you have a beach? Yeah, Nairobi doesn't have a beach, so. We kind of suck with that, but this is gonna be awesome. This place is actually quite beautiful. It's so, so fancy and all that. It being a Sunday, I'm surprised that people are so live. But anyway, see you guys out there. Hopefully, I can vlog when I'm partying. This will be a first. Let's see. Hey. Man, <clears throat> last night was crazy. Ugh. I met up with a bunch of friends of mine. Man, party to till. I, I got home at 10. <laughs> and I'm not a person who goes out a lot, so this was like the first time man, that I've stayed out that long. And whew, it was crazy, man. We were partying, enjoying ourselves. Da Pacamoro. Yeah, deuces. I guess. I'm concluding this vlog here. I will see you guys on the next one.